Okay, okay. So in my third video I posted on this YouTube channel, a friend of mine asked me, could I have some clips from the physio exercises that helped you with the recovery? Sure, let's do that. And even though those exercises were given by my physio, especially to me because I have extensive outward rotation of the right leg, every runner can do them because they target muscles every runner needs to activate. I see it especially in new runners or runners who don't have any prior experience from sport that the calves are not firing, the glutes are not firing at all. And after a while of training, maybe after a week or after two weeks, start to complain that the knees hurt or some other part of the body hurts. <clears throat> and it's very preventable. But I made a compilation of five, of actually four exercises you can do at home. You don't need any equipment for this. I use a resistance band for some of the exercises because I need to target also my outward muscles of the legs. So, but you don't need to uh, use them at home if you don't have any resistance band. Um, you can buy a resistance band though from Amazon or from your local store for just a couple of bucks. And I really highly would suggest you doing that. It's a small investment into running. I know you probably have already put some money in new shoes and uh, maybe in gels or in some gear, but hey, another what's another five or 10 bucks more in keeping you healthy and safe? Uh, <clears throat> let's start with the exercises. The first one actually is for the hamstrings. It's a, and the glutes, it's a glute bridge. But for this one, we lay down on our back. We tuck, we tuck our uh, um, core in and then Then we just raise the butt. And now let's just stay here for a moment. If you can't stay here for long, then you also can go down and then raise up again. I've done this quite often, so I can stay here pretty much for, I don't know, a couple of minutes. But don't feel any pressure about that if <clears throat> your glutes are not uh, strong enough you probably will go need to go down a bit and then back up again okay 15 seconds break and the next one is the same movement but just with one leg as runners we constantly move on one leg Okay, but up again and then just try to stay on one leg for a couple of seconds or as long as you can, then raise the other leg. Try not to flail around left and right. This one is especially good if you have problems with your hamstrings. And it really builds some strength into your hamstrings and into your glute as well. Okay, <clears throat> next one is the clamshell. I use a resistance band for this. <clears throat> Try to keep your back straight and then we just open up our knees like that. Important thing here is that you don't need to use your back for this. This is, a, this is an isolated movement for the glute meat, which you can feel if you put your hand on your butt. It's basically the, the side muscle of your glute. 
targeting this muscle will give you some stability during the run. For me, this is especially important because I have some inward rotation of the knee. <coughs> and we do this on the other side as well. Just like that. It doesn't need to be big, the movement. You just need to target the side muscle of your butt. very good just a couple of seconds more okay the next one is a <clears throat> simple squat again you don't need to use the resistance band I need to use it just to target my outward muscles a bit more here it's important that you activate your core as well and did your back stay straight like that you need to don't need to go all the way down and don't rush this exercise i've done them quite a lot so <clears throat> i do squats as well in the gym with quite heavy weights but when I started I was running just 10 of those so pretty heavy actually okay next one <clears throat> next one is a break and then we start just all over again with the same exercise we did in the beginning Remember to tuck your belly button inside, tuck it in. And if you can't hold it, then just go down for a second and then go up again. Then break and next we go into a single legged bridge, which is a much harder. Okay, let's start with one leg and the other. I can really feel this in my glued in in my hamstrings it's really good but as long as we want to have strong glutes and strong hamstrings and we also want to keep our knees in a straight line this exercise will help you to do that Okay, let's go down. <clears throat> Next one, the clamshells. And here again, it's not important how big the movement is important that you really target that side muscle of the glute the glute need you can feel it working when if you put your hand on your butt
Okay, let's switch to the other side. <coughs> 10 seconds more. No need to hurry. And the other side. This exercise is very important that you don't use your back. You just target your glute need. Also, no need to rush through it. Almost done. <coughs> okay. Now, next the squat. I will do this sideways so you can see. So you can see that my my uh, back stays straight the whole time. I also tuck my belly button in you don't need to go all the way down like about 45 degree angle is completely fine it's really just important that you feel your glutes working and you also feel that your feet are stable on the ground. Okay, we finished this workout. Thank you for following along. I hope this helped you. For more exercises like this, please visit Vlad Excel's YouTube channel. I <laughs> linked his channel into the info box. There are a lot of strength exercises, especially for runners, which I have been doing uh, for three years now. and. The most important message I want to tell you is that <clears throat> if you do those exercises on a consistent basis, you may stay healthy for much longer. Of course, there are other injuries that could happen as well, but uh, there's really no use if you don't do, do those exercises at least a couple of times a week. Uh, if you run pretty much, then you probably should do this do them on a daily basis just think of them as money invested in a bank if you do them like 10 or 20 minutes a day uh, it starts to compound interest <laughs> yeah but yeah thank you and if i should do more videos like this please let me know in the comments and happy running bye